Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. It is a beautiful Sunday afternoon, and what a weekend it has been. What a fantastic day on Pegasus Day, but we got 11 races this afternoon. We got a mandatory payout in the Rainbow Six. Let's check out the track and weather conditions and turn it over to Peter Aiello, who did a fantastic job yesterday. Racing at Goldstream. From the center, Gun of Glory gets the first call and fires to the top toward the rail. Calabash is moving on to challenge. And between horses, the race favorite, Super Energizers, in early third. Beyond the call, runs into fourth. Up on the outside goes Magical Cause. Wider than him and Jealous Eyes is trying to work over. Down at the rail goes Reno Animo. Super best bet is between horses. The two at the back are Shenanigans Painter and Safe and Sound. In the charge around the first turn, Gun of Glory has the lead over the big favorite, Super Energizer, who races from second. Up on the outside, Magical Cause is a bit wide while racing in third. Calabrash is at the rail. Then beyond the call, followed by Jealous Eyes. Length and a half to the rail in Reno Animo. Still unhurried at this stage is Shenanigans Painter and Safe and Sound is last. 23 and 3 for that opening quarter. There's less than five furlongs to race. Gun of Glory and Carlos Lugo calling the shots through a 48 and one half mile. Super Energizer is there. Second beyond the call tries to secure the three path. Four wide magical cause. Calabash is at the rail. Then Jealous Eyes at the rail in Reno Animo. Two and a half to Super Best Bet. Shenanigans Painter and Safe and Sound at the back as they swing to the far turn. 48 and 1 for the opening half mile. Three furlongs left to race. Gun of Glory tackled now by Super Energizer. Three wide. Magical Cause on the outside is now third, running home from fourth. That's Jealous Eyes back at the rail and beyond the call. Nothing yet from Shenanigans Painter as they turn for home. Super Energizer off the turn with the lead. Magical Cause takes aim on the outside second. Jealous Eyes, widest of all, trying to close late ground. Final eighth of a mile, and it's still Super Energizer with the lead. At four to five, Super Energizer is clear. Jealous Eyes up on the outside for second. Super Energizer in front. Jealous Eyes second, Magical Cause third, Shenanigans Painter fourth, and Calabash in 142 and two. Slow to go was Does She Know. Look at Nora Rad sprint off the block. She's open a length and a half in a hurry as Think It Through will move to her outside and race on from second. Twin Bridges is an early third, followed fourth by Naval Wave, driving through at the rail Pisces in between horses and Miraculous. Second last, Brody's Honor, and after blowing the break, Does She Know is last. Well, Nora Rad got a flyer off the gate, but now she's only a neck in front as Think It Through draws up alongside second. Twin Bridges is a three wide third. Naval Wave is a four wide fourth. At the rail in Pisces, while fifth, back to Miraculous, then Brody's Honor, and Does She Know? Around the far turn they go, and now Think It Through puts a neck on top. Twin Bridges is three wide. Norad trying to respond to urging toward the rail. Naval Wave is still very much in range as Norad just took up. Back to the rail in Pisces with a quarter of a mile left to get. Think It Through has the lead. Twin Bridges is second. Norad has dropped back. Naval Wave is up to third as Think It Through starts to stretch it on now. Think It Through, an eighth of a mile from home and six on top. Twin Bridges will try to hold on to second. Lannery trying to get Naval Wave up for the place. But as they come home for the wire, Think It Through can take a knee and run out the clock. She's long gone. Think It Through, dominant in victory. She won by as much as she wanted. Up second was Twin Bridges. Third was Naval Wave and then Pisces.
No medication, no problem. Run happy, standing at Claiborne Farm. From the center, Josefa wins the break. Up on the far outside, Stephanie on fleek trying to get over. Star Swept has got the similar idea, driving through between Subtle Joy. In tight and on heels there was a little bit good. Also in tight and brushing the fence. What all about Catherine? Things getting crowded in the second flight. Around the first turn they go. Josefa sets up shop on the lead and leads by half a length. Star Swept is tugging second. Time to the rail and all about Catherine. Three wide. Stephanie on fleek. Back from there it's Henny Penny. Then comes Subtle Joy together with Little Bit Good. And the early trailer is Queen Field. The opening quarter was 24 and 2 as they race down the backstretch. Josefa and Junior Alvarado on top by a length from between horses. Star Swept is second. Four wide Henny Penny. Three wide Stephanie on fleek. Watching the action from the rail is all about Catherine, two better than Subtle Joy, then Little Bit Good, and Queen Field. Inside half a mile from home, Holsefa leads a half a length. Star Swept is there second, Stephanie on fleek, the first to come under a pressure. She's now third, up on the rail and all about Catherine, and three wide, now make it four wide for Henny Penny. Two and a half to Little Bit Good, then comes Subtle Joy, and Queen Field is last. 48 seconds for the opening half mile. They've yet to get to Josefa. Josefa to the top of the stretch has the lead and starts to get away again. Star Swept is now asked to get out in turn second. All about Catherine is going to tip and try to roll from third. Josefa cut the corner nicely and still has the lead. Star Swept is second. All about Catherine down the stand side, then a little bit good with an eighth of a mile to go. Josefa 12 to 1 and finding for Junior Alvarado. They left her alone for too long. You can't do that on this turf course. Josefa is in front. All about Catherine is second. A little bit good. Rallies to get third. Star swept fourth in one. 35. Flat. From the outside, Tayette was away quickly, so was Tabor Hall driving through between Best Cause and Skyboxes toward the rail. Caramel Swirl is next. Very wide on the course here as Unbridled Doro floated out in the six lane there with Lunar Blast nearest the inside. Bobo Girl is last. And the run around the first turn, Tabor Hall wants the lead and she'll get it. She leads now by a length from between horses. It's Caramel Swirl a joint second. Tayette on the outside now third. Back to fourth at the rail in Skybox. Fifth goes to Best Cause. Then it's Lunar Blast who's nearest the rail. Second last is on Bridal Doro, and then three to the trailer, Bobo Girl. The opening quarter was 24 and 1 as they race into the backstretch. With the advantage, Tabor Hall by length over the big favorite, Caramel Swirl, who turns up the heat second. From third, that's an inside running skybox. Tayette is next, followed by the team of Best Cause and Lunar Blast. Then it's a length and a half back to on Bridal Doro, still second last, and the trailer is still Bobo Girl. 48 and 1 for 48 and 2 rather for the opening half mile as they go to the first finish line. The leader is Tabor Hall by half a length. Up on the outside, snugly in hand is Caramel Swirl second. Tayette third, Skybox fourth. Up on the outside goes Best Cause from between horses and Lunar Blast. Trying to rally from the back is Bobo Girl. Unbridled Doro has not put in a run at all yet with less than three furlongs remaining. Tabor Hall has the lead. It's Tabor Hall by a neck. Caramel Swirl on the outside is second. Tayette third. Best Cause is now racing from fourth. The rest are hard at work. With less than a quarter of a mile left to go, it's still Tabor Hall in front. Caramel Swirl now in a more earnest position, trying to get on terms. These top two are well clear of the others. Tabor Hall still responding. Caramel Swirl still trying. Now she's going to try again as Tabor Hall tries to hold her off, and she is. Tabor Hall still in front at 9-1. to one. It's Tabor Hall to win it. Tabor Hall wins by a length and a half. Caramel Swirl was second. Bobo Girl went from last to get third, then best cause fourth in 144-3. Oh! 
excellent beginning for Pharaoh's Bell nearest the inside. Driving up on the outside, it's the Jokes on Me with Slumber Party moving out in between horses' temperament twist. Also into the top flight goes Sweet Penelope, who's down toward the rail, and Legendary Gift goes into the top flight. So the speed on display is Slumber Party, who leads by a length and a half. Legendary Gift moves to take second. Vita Yellow on the far outside, splitting horses. That's Temperament Twist. After a good beginning, Pharaoh's Bell being shuffled back pretty badly. Passed by Unshakable You and Sweet Penelope. Deep on the course and Copacetic. Widest of all is the jokes on me. The three at the back, Bel El, Lucky Us, and Pass the Champagne. Into the far turn they go. Slumber Party and Jockey Joel Rosario loose on top by five. Legendary Gift and all in second. Temperament Twist third. Sweet Penelope is there fourth, trying to rally wide on the course. And Vita Yellow, Unshakable U is put to pressure between horses. Also trying to run home from the back is the joke's on me with a quarter of a mile left to go. With the advantage, it's still Slumber Party. She's well clear out here. Quarter of a mile from home, Slumber Party six on top. Temperament Twist is second, past the Champagne. Hitting high gear for Louis Sias, third and closing a bit of ground. Eighth of a mile to go, and Slumber Party is long gone. Slumber Party, this is a very impressive debut run from her for the uh, colors of Gary and Mary West and trainer Kelly Breen. Give it to Slumber Party, who's a handy winner. It's a good battle for second, very close for second. Probably outside to pass the Champagne with Temperament Twist right there. Pharaoh's Bell shuffled herself back and then re-rallied for fourth in 123 flat. From the center, Maverick Kitten was well served at the break. Diligent moving through at the rail, but there goes, where are you going, Owen? Owen's going to the front. With the advantage of where you're going, Owen, three parts of length. King Autocar moves to take second. Diligent is now third. Montauk Summer between horses fourth. Emoji Guy is three wide while fifth. And Al Solitario, Maverick Kitten got sent wide to the first turn run. As shuffling back a touch there was uh, King Autocar, rather was Montauk Summer. Share the blame slid through down at the inside. Three wide went Riggins, and the trailer is bad boy EJ. Around the first turn and heading into the backstretch run. Where you going, Owen? Has the lead. King Autocar is second. Up on the outside, Maverick Kittens on a mid-race move wide on the course. Down at the rail goes Diligent together with King, or rather with, together with um, Emoji Guy. Then it's a length and a half to Montauk Summer, who's guided to the far outside. Share the blame. will need to find a way through between horses. And at the rail, El Solitario. Riggins is second last. And bad boy EJ trails through a 48 and four half mile. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Where you going, Owen, with King King Autocar second and Maverick Kitten three wide third. Diligent waits his turn fourth. Up on the outside goes Emoji Guy, then Montauk Summer. Share the blame's not going to do it today with a quarter of a mile left to get. King Autocar on the major class drop after three quarters and 112 flat. He has the lead to the attack now. Diligent's getting into the clear to play his hand, and he's coming on pretty well as King Autocar needs to find another gear. Final 16th of a mile. King Autocar is in front. Diligent takes aim. King Autocar almost there. Diligent on the outside. King Autocar and Diligent, King Autocar hanging on. He think did, I think he did. King Autocar is in a photo with Diligent who did surge late in 135 and three.
post. And they're off. From the outside, long gray line was crowded at the start as moving up on the far outside goes so long Chuck to take the advantage. Trapezoid has speed. Powerful ally won't be far away. Splitting horses in Dexter Road as they run out of the chute. It's now Powerful Ally who's on front uh, by a length now over a second running so long Chuck. Trapezoid is next. Now driving through Starship Aramis is keyed up and sent hard and he's moving to challenge the lead. Away racing in fifth is Mystical Moon is toward the rail. And between horses and smash, Dexter Road is out three wide, four wide for the favorite long gray line. Two back to first and three and then Dr. DJ. Down the back stretch they go. Carlos Montalvo was intent on getting Starship Aramis to the lead. He's there now, but he's working hard to hold it. From the outside, Powerful Alley is there. Their second, so long, Chuck, three wide third. On from fourth and trapezoid, then long gray line. Dropping back a touch is Dexter Road with Mystical Moon toward the rail. Then it's back to Smash, trying to run home from the back. Cowboys Hero and Dr. DJ, first and three is last. And Powerful Alley is now first. Powerful Ally in front by a neck. Up on the outside, so long, Chuck, second. Long gray line. Three wide while third, driven hard fourth is Trapezoid. Dr. DJ underway on the far outside. Less than a quarter of a mile to go, and it's powerful ally. After three quarters and one, 11 and two, he turns first on top by two. Toward the outside, long gray line from between. So long, Chuck. Late run from Dr. DJ. Mystical Moon closing ground for Lugo between. Final 16th of a mile. Mystical Moon is closing good ground. Here's Mystical Moon. Down the center with Dr. DJ. Mystical Moon, Dr. DJ. Mystical Moon wins. Mystical Moon for the money at a nice price too in 137 and 4. Painting was away quickly on the far outside. Zia Song trying to get over. Sent between horses and Rainbow Bell into the top flight. Scarlet Lace makes it over from the outside draw to the two path and she'll race from fourth. Semble Juiced is next at the rail and in a bit tight on her outside went no ordinary time. But it's a gap of two to Richborg ahead of Ernestine and Hazel. Back from there except Temptation with a Phenomenal Woman on her outside. Brina is next and at the back is Salih as they make their way into the backstretch. 23 and 2 for the opening quarter. Long shots lead the way with Rainbow Bell putting up the numbers. Leads by a length and a half. Joy of painting the nearest pursuer second. Zia's song now third. These three going quickly. A gap of three to Scarlet Lace, who's clearly fourth in hand. Fifth is no ordinary time. Then it's the team of Ernestine and Hazel racing outside of Semble Juiced. A gap of two and a half to Phenomenal Woman. Then it's Richbor for the inside with Accept Temptation in the two path. Three wide went Brina. Still at the back is Salih. They start to take closer order as the leaders start to tucker themselves out. Three wide. Here's Scarlet Lace making a bid at Joy of Painting who just took over. Four wide and no ordinary time. Winding it up from the back is the gray Brina. Semble Juiced just tapped on the brakes again. Ernestine and Hazel's got no place to go. Neither does Phenomenal woman as they run to the top of the stretch. Who do you like here with three quarters complete and one twelve and three? It's Joy of Painting who comes off the turn with the lead. Joy of Painting and Joe Bravo an eighth of a mile from home and two on top. Down the center it's assembly or rather no ordinary time. Lifting late is Salih from way out of it. Final sixteenth of a mile. Joy of Painting still clear. Joy of Painting at 15 to one. Second no ordinary time. Salih was third. Fourth was Brina at 136 flat. Bramblebury off slowly. Quickest away was over Gators, who fires to the top from the rail. Royal Megan is put into play to hold ground toward the fence. Away in third is Bargain Air. Outside fourth goes Bird Map. Driving through with the fence, Forever Marta. Then it's Brambleberry and Noble Jack. The early trailer is Adeline. 
to make their way to the half mile point over Gators and Miguel Vasquez in front three parts of a length toward the rail. That's Royal Megan from second, Bargain Air third. Bird Map on the outside is now fourth, then Brambleberry and Noble Jack. Forever Mart is second last. The trailer remains Adeline, and the leader remains over Gators. Over Gators is in front, but Gaffleone worked into the two path and sent Royal Megan on to challenge. Three wide, Bargain Air is right there, a gap of two to Bird Map, who's an all in fourth. Trying to run home from the back is Noble Jack with a quarter of a mile left to run. Toward the inside, Royal Megan has the lead to the attack. Bargain Air tries to cling to her. These two off the turn, widening on the rest of the field. Three sixteenths from home. It's Royal Megan now an eighth of a mile more to get, and she's still in front. Bargain Air tried, but she's losing ground to the leader second down the center. Here's Adeline for a late award, but she will not beat Royal Megan, nor will anybody else. Royal Megan delivers on the odds on promise. Bargain Air with a good try second. Third was Adeline, fourth was Bird Map in the ninth. We're set for a start, and they're off. A step slow to begin was Twirling Star. Excellent beginning for Alexandra Kay, who's headed off for the early lead. Our little devil will run with her. Coin the phrase, makes it a party. Green colors, three wide third. Far outside, Captain Sam is now fourth. Behind the speed is the favorite Richie's great girl. Two and a half to Awesome Roar, then my sassy Sarah. Twirling Star is second last and not keeping up at all early is Irv's wench. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Alexandra Kay on the inside, our little devil on the outside, their heads apart. Richie's great girls had a great trip and She'll get ready to move to the outside from fourth and coin the phrase. Wide on the course and Captain Sam sliding through his awesome roar with a quarter of a mile left to go. Richie's great girl and awesome roar have dead aim on our little devil and Alexandra Kay. Eighth of a mile to go. Richie's great girl strides forward to take the lead toward the outside. Awesome roar is up into second. Here's a late run from my sassy Sarah to try to get a slice. But the winner is Richie's great girl. Sharp in victory. Two and a half in front. Awesome roar second. My sassy Sarah third to start the late daily double. Perfect beginning. From the center, it's Alistair who goes out looking for the advantage. Mr. Axel's going to run with him out wide on the course in LPO. Driving through at the rail, all good, is on to take fourth. Mitch Rayem is next, then comes Burley Boy. On his outside goes Strong Headed. Back from there, it's the trio of the North Remembers, Al Rahel and Zip Along. Race favorite Zip Along is down toward the inside. He's third last. Second last is Yachty, and the early trailer is Mr. Tito's. And the runner into the back stretch. The leader is Alastor, and Luis Saez is on top by half a length. Mr. Axel on the outside is second. Two back to all good third. El Pio's on his outside fourth. Another two and a half to Mitzrayem. Then to his outside goes Strong Headed. 
Burley Boy follows him, moving between horses and zip along, right alongside Al Rahal, out deep on the course in the north remembers. And it's a gap of another three to uh, unhurried uh, second last running Yachty, and then it's a distance to Mr. Tito's. He's not keeping up. Into the far turn they go, and Alastor still has the lead. Mr. Axel within a neck of the leader's second. All good. Is that a good trip? He'll try to tip and roll from third back to fourth. LPO trying to run home in traffic as Zip along. He's trying to get going. He's now into the clear, but he still needs six lengths on to get to the leader, and that leader is now Mr. Axel. Quarter of a mile to go. Mr. Axel took over, immediately tackled by all. All good. Who's on the attack now? Trying to run home from the back. Here's the run from Zip Along in between horses. Mitzrayam with El Pio. Final 16th of a mile. All good has made the lead, but he's not home yet. Zip Along takes aim. Mr. Axel is very game toward the rail. They come home for the wire. Zip Along surging it. All good. Here's the finish. Photo finish. If I had to, I'd say all good held on, but it's tight. Zip Along surged at him. Photo finish in the Sunday finale. And that wraps up one fantastic week here at beautiful Gulfstream Park with Dark for Live Racing on Monday and Tuesday. But we'll be back here on Wednesday with a 10 race card, a first race post, 12.35 p.m. Good night, good luck, and most of all, stay safe. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. What do you say? Tired. Let me tell you, Jack, I'm so tired.